everyone and welcome to class of 5G propagation models. Today in this class we are going to discuss about 5G propagation models. So let's start with high precision 5G propagation model. So we have ray tracing propagation model. Compared with the traditional 2G or 3G, 4G networks, 5G network will be more complex. With the emergence of NASA MIMO and beam forming technologies, multipath modeling is of great importance. However, due to the lack of multipath information at a high level of granularity, the accuracy of network planning is hard to guarantee. So, a ray tracing propagation model which is established upon high precision electronic maps, it includes multipath modeling which plays an important role in 5G wireless network planning. The beam based ray tracing Propagation model, it includes various features. What are the features? Direct radiation, reflection, diffraction, signal transmission and combined path. Direct radiation. The transmitter and receiver are not affected by tall buildings or dense vegetation in the first Fresnel zone. The direct radiation power constitutes the main power source of the received signals. The power of the signals reflected by grounds or walls can be ignored with this. Next we have reflection. When it occurs, the incident ray, reflection ray and reflection point are in the same plane. The angle between the incident ray and reflection point is equal to the angle between reflected ray and the normal line. Next we have diffraction. The condition of diffraction concurrence is related to the wavelength of the EM wave and the size of the obstacle edge. It can bring great propagation power in the sub 6 GHz band. However, when the frequency band is 10 GHz or higher, the number of edges that can produ produce diffraction is reduced. So is the resulting power generated by this diffraction. Signal transmission. This is the transmission and reflection of EM waves which occur at a junction of two kinds of media. The transmission energy is related to dielectric constant and permeability of the penetrated material. Combined path which is diffraction after reflection and reflection after diffraction. The transmission modes of multiple path combines they can't be marginalized. It is also a potential candidate power propagation method. It can be used for ray tracing propagation model. Now this model can automatically identify the preceding EM wave propagation path based on the high precision electronic map and the position of the receiver. It can lead to higher accuracy during network planning. Next we are having this is a coverage prediction effect. UMI and UMA propagation models. Now the high frequency and experience centric propagation model which is released by 3GPP does not include environmental features. These include the height of transmitter and buildings, road speed, nor does it consider signal losses caused by trees, oxygen attenuation, rain attenuation or other factors. The range is determined by the receiver height is very small and limiting. So, the important aspects such as height coefficient of the receiver, transmitter, location feature of the receiver and outdoor to indoor penetration losses are there. Thank you.